Also being joined by my colleague Vedant at this moment, uh, uh, who is uh, outside of uh, the Amanri Party office. Uh, Vedant, we're seeing that there are some protest protesters there. Uh, uh, this, of course, comes at a time when uh, the, the uh, Amanri Party's plea is in the Supreme Court, is going to be heard by a three judge bench. Take us to what's taking place on ground. Well, Aarti, uh, the protest march has begun here uh, at uh, the ITO Chalk here. Uh, senior Ministers Aatishi and Saurav Bhardwaj, as you can see there, are leading this protest march. Uh, they are they take, uh, you know, they're moving towards the main ITO Chalk. Uh, from where they'll be going towards the uh, uh, headquarters as well. Senior Minister Saurabh Bhardwaj and Atishi, uh, all of them are present here as we speak. Uh, several Ahmadi uh, Party uh, protesters are with them. If I can ask my camera person Prem Singh to also show you that, you know, right behind this contingent, you can see at least a hundred uh, protesters of the Ahmadi Party moving towards uh, the uh, BJP headquarters. So this protest march has begun now. Saurabh Bhardwaj and Atishi, senior ministers of the Ahmadi Party, leading this march. What we also being told is Bhagwant Mahan will be joining uh, these, this protest shortly. In fact, Bhagwant Mahan will be arriving in the national capital uh, and meeting the family of Arvind Kejriwal and also, uh, you know, uh, the, the senior ministers of the Ahmadi Party to strategize further. He is going to be a, you know, a key player now as far as Delhi's politics is concerned. Uh, he is going to arrive in Delhi just shortly. Uh, so there you can see. To keep following me, it's going to be a dramatic confrontation between the police and this contingent of the Ahmadi Party, which is moving towards the DDU mark. Uh, there you can see uh, there's a contingent of police deployed here as well, heavy barricading. They won't be allowed uh, to move beyond this point. Uh, so there you can see they are being they are being stopped here by the police. They will not be allowed to move forward. But they are managing to sort of, you know, move through uh, the barricades. Though, of course, the police telling them that Section 144 is in place and assembly is not allowed. You know, the, the ban on gatherings. But, of course, here, these protests continuing. They are moving towards the main road of the ITO. Dramatic scenes unfolding here. Uh, because, remember, they, they are stopping traffic as well. Uh, and they have now entered the main road. Absolutely dramatic scenes here, Aarti. They are now moving towards the other side of the ITO march. Hundreds of protesters with the Ahmadi Party leaders. They are being stopped by the police. But this crowd seems to go, be going completely helter-skelter. And there's dramatic confrontation now taking place between the police and the Ahmadi Party protesters here, Aarti. There you can see how there's a skirmish between the police and uh, leaders of the Ahmadi Party, several protesters here as well, uh, who are being dragged away by the police. The police not allowing the protesters to camp here. They are trying to block the roads, but the police not allowing them. Of course, it's a huge, uh, you know, sort of contingent of protesters here. Aarti, dramatic scenes unfolding at the ITO. If I can ask my camera person, Prem Singh, to show you how the senior leaders have now, uh, they, they are squatting on the road. They will be sitting here, they say, this is the main road, the main ITO road, an extremely busy road. The police now not allowing them uh, to move forward. There you can see uh, leaders of the Ahmadi Party squatting on the main road. Sora Bhardwaj there as well, Atishi, all of them uh, here in the main road. Dramatic scenes unfolding here, Aarti. Absolutely, Vedant. Uh, are the police now saying that they're going to be taking action in a while if they don't move out of the place? <laughs> Absolutely, Aarti, let me show you uh, the massive police deployment here. This is the main road. If I can ask my camera person to show you, you know, the traffic is not, uh, the traffic is being diverted. It's going on the other side. And here is where these Amadni Party protesters will be squatting for the rest of the day. And uh, Prem Singh, if you can keep following me, just look at how uh, they, they have now sat on the roads. The police are trying to uh, sort of, uh, you know, drag them away, but to no avail because, you know, these are a lot of protesters we're talking about. Very impassioned protesters here. Uh, the police, there you can see RP, senior police officials trying to calm the situation because it's the main road that we are talking about. Uh, the police trying to drag them away. Uh, Saurabh and Atishi leading the protest. There you can see dramatic scenes unfolding. The police trying to take them away. Uh, and, and the police dragging them away. These are women. Look at how the police uh, official is dragging uh, women there, taking them away. Uh, and uh, there's a huge uh, contingent of protesters here, dramatic scenes unfolding. 
uh, RAF uh, Rapid Action Forces have also been brought in now. Aarti, as you can see, Rapid Action Forces have also been brought in here uh, to drag the protesters away. Paramilitary forces were already deployed. Huge protests unfolding. Uh, remember, traffic was uh, already diverted, keeping in mind these protests. And look at how uh, you know these protesters are being dragged away by Rapid Action Forces. Uh, one by one, these are the buses there in which these protesters will be taken away, Aarti. The two buses have been deployed here and some of the protesters, in fact, have already been detained. There you can see how some of these protesters are being taken away uh, after being detained by, uh, the protest by, the, by the police there. And if I can go back to where the action is unfolding, this is where you have uh, you know, women constables being deployed here as well. Look at how they are, uh, Prem Singh, if you can show them, look at how they are being taken. Saurabh Bhardwaj is currently speaking. One day before, they came from the hospital. They arrested their son. They didn't get to meet anyone. They're going to stop the peace. We're going to stop the peace. We can't go to the ITO. We've been coming to the ITO. And they're going to take the police. They're going to take the whole thing. They're just going to take the whole thing. लोकसभा चुनाव जीतने के लिए ये तानाशाही की जा रही है लोग जहां पे भी होंगे वहां पे प्रोटेस्ट करेंगे ये प्रोटेस्ट रुकेगा नहीं आम आदमी पार्टी वर्कर्स आम आदमी पार्टी सपोर्टर्स हैव बीन डिटेन देयर आरती आई सौरभ भरद्वाज वाज सेइंग दैट यू नो सौरभ भरद्वाज हैज आल्सो बीन डिटेन and they are being taken away by the police uh, in these buses. Uh, Atishi also being detained and he, one by one, all these protesters are being taken away because this is the main road and they were not allowed to protest here given the fact that prohibitory orders and section 144 is in place. So there you can see how rapid action force is also stepping in to make sure that the situation is under control. Look at how they, these protesters are being dragged away. Prem Singh, if you can show them, uh, rapid action force is dragging away a protester. Uh, you know, impassioned protesters here. Uh, some of them saying that they've been hurt as well uh, because of uh, the police action. And this escalated really quickly. Let me see if I can get in a word uh, from some protesters here. here. Okay, so here protesters, uh, there you can see Aarti. Uh, these protesters still squatting on the roads. Uh, remains to be seen how the police takes them. Okay, there now the police constable have come and they are taking the, them away. All of them will be uh, detained. By the, by, by the police here, uh, paramilitary forces were in enough numbers to actually sort of contain the protests and make sure that there is calm uh, here in the national capital. This is the main road and this entire road uh, has now been blocked. Uh, so police taking them away uh, to, uh, to in buses. One bus carrying Saurabh Bhardwaj is already uh, on its way to the nearest police thana. Uh, so dramatic scenes unfolding here. Aarti. Uh, like you said, traffic diversions being made because of the protest as well. Uh, but as we just heard Saurabh Bajwar saying it's a peaceful protest that's being stopped by the police. The Amami party has planned protests in several other areas as well and other states as well, uh, Vedant. And we're also learning that uh, from Punjab, the chief minister is also going to be arriving. Is he going to be joining the protest too? That's right, Bhagwan Khan will be arriving in just a short while from now. Uh, he will be meeting with the family of Arvind Kejriwal and also uh, the senior ministers of the capital. Now, as you said, the Ahmadni party claims that this is a peaceful protest, but the fact is that there is section 144 in place. Prohibitory orders are already in place. There you can see Atishi uh, sort of in a skirmish with uh, some police officials there. Uh, a dramatic confrontation taking place between senior ministers and uh, uh, the police. In fact, the senior constable is taking Atishi away. There you can see live on our camera uh, a senior official taking Atishi away. In fact, uh, there's a dramatic uh, sort of confrontation taking place uh, right now between uh, the senior minister there and several uh, members of the police force. Atishi is trying to push them away and make a way forward, but they're pushing back. Absolutely dramatic there. How the uh, how the rapid action forces are pushing back uh, on the uh, on their attempt to make their way towards the other side of the road towards the BJP headquarters. So absolutely dramatic. Uh, Atishi is being taken away by the rapid action forces there. Uh, Aarti, as we can see in our ca on our camera screens, absolutely dramatic. How they are confronting with each other on, you know, uh, on a main road. It is absolutely unprecedented. Uh, never seen before uh, here on the streets of uh, the national capital that you have a senior minister of the Delhi government 
uh, of the government of the national capital uh, confronting like this with the police forces. The police forces, of course, are taking them away. Uh, they, they can see how Atishi is pushing them, uh, you know, and, the, and the, with, uh, along with protesters with her and how the rapid action forces are pushing back. Uh, so absolutely dramatic there. Uh, it has escalated, it has gone totally out of control right now, uh, RT. And uh, uh, we are being told that more and more companies of uh, uh, paramilitary forces and rapid action forces will be brought now because they did not anticipate that the Ahmadi party will walk the other way. They were supposed to walk towards that side and they have walked this way, which is why this sort of uh, absolutely out of control scenes here. Uh, Reena Gupta uh, of, of the Ahmadi party is also with us, uh, senior leader. Uh, Reena ma'am, tell me, are you completely out of control? Are you going to protest? So, what are you going to do next? Is there no right protest to do with us? We have to take the law of the law, without any evidence, without any evidence, without any evidence. We have to take the law of the law to protest. Why are the police taking us from here? We have to say that there is a law of 144. Why are the police taking us from here? Why are the police taking us from here? Why are the police taking us from here? आगे की क्या रणनीति है बाप ऑफ कंडक्ट लगा हुआ है पुलिस कैसे 144 यहाँ लगाई हुई है इलेक्शन कमीशन कहाँ सोया हुआ है जी आगे की क्या रणनीति भगवान मान भी आने वाले हैं आप लोग एक अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिरफ्तार कर लीजिए दिल्ली में हजारों लाखों अरविंद केजरीवाल हैं हम ऐसे ही सड़क पर बैठे रहेंगे जब तक हमारे नेता को रिलीज नहीं किया जाता है। All right, so thank you, Reena Gupta, for that. Ahmadi Party saying that till the time their leaders are released, they will keep protesting because several of the leaders have been detained. Atishi is being taken away. Prem Singh, if you can keep following me, Atishi is being taken away there by the the senior police officials, women constable there as well. They are taking Atishi away. She and she is trying to push back. If Prem Singh can show that to you, she is trying to push back. And now rapid action forces also being involved. They're trying to make sure that the situation is under control, but Atishi is unrelenting. She is not uh, willing to uh, be detained by the police there. Uh, but this is happening on the on the main road, you know, in the heart of the national capital, a very busy road, ITO that we are talking about. Traffic is being diverted. They had already anticipated this sort of a thing, but the fact that they have uh, they they have taken to the streets and how? Because you have you know senior leaders now squatting on the road. They're saying that they will not. Uh, they will not move, they will not relent till the time the leaders who have been detained are released. So several buses being brought in, Atishi being taken away, there you can see, there you can see Aarti, Atishi being taken away by the police, so protesters being detained. The police absolutely uh, sort of uh, uh, committed and resolved that uh, there will be no protests that will be taking place on the main roads of the national capital. Absolutely, Vedant. In fact, you just spoke to an Amami Party leader, Reena Gupta, as well, and she's reiterating what the Amami Party has kept saying uh, that, uh, you know, this seems to be, according to them, the center's agenda right ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. That's what they're claiming. Uh, and, you know, that that's continuing at this point. Uh, as they're saying that the India Bloc leaders are with them as well. But as of now, only Amami Party leaders have announced some sort of protest. That's right, Aarti. As of now, we have only Aam Aadmi Party leaders uh, present here. In fact, Atishi is speak, uh, speaking to the media. Let's try and see if we can get a word from her. Uh, uh, she is uh, here being detained by the police. Okay, she's reiterating the fact that, you know, till the time the protesters who have been detained are released, they will continue uh, to uh, to protest on the streets. They've taken the battle to the streets. They, they're saying that this is the center's agenda and that, uh, you know, they're trying to uh, protest peacefully and peaceful protest is no longer a right in this country. Uh, and that, uh, uh, you know, this is something that uh, they will continue to protest against. There you can see dramatic scenes and folding if uh, Prem Singh can keep uh, showing you how uh, you know Atishi is being taken away how more and more police officials are coming in Aarti uh, there you can see senior police officials coming in and trying to detain not just uh, not just uh, senior leaders of the Ahmadi party but also some, one or two media per persons have been asked to move away as well because this is a main road remember Aarti main road uh, of uh, uh, ITO which is uh, as I said earlier as well an extremely busy road and here you have um, uh, you know, uh, this sort of scuffle taking place between our Madni party leaders as well as the police, rapid action forces brought in as well. A dramatic scuffle taking place, Atishi not willing to relent, but uh, uh, the, the, the number of paramilitary forces really outnumbering the number of protesters uh, and uh, they're trying to sort of calm the situation and uh, they, they, they're sort of committed that there will be no protests that will be taking place uh, at the heart of the national capital. Uh, so, 
extremely uh, dramatic scenes unfolding here. Uh, Atishi being dragged away by the police. The police Vedan, making sure Vedan, we can also that, see uh, some no traffic being is stopped. Allowed, uh, Vedan, we can also see. see some traffic being stopped there as the police pull away not just uh, Amami party leaders but media personnel also who are trying to get in a word with her. Uh, 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 take us to the traffic situation around the ground. You said that most of the cars are being diverted but we'd seen some uh, uh, cars being stopped by the sort of scuffle that's, that's right. taken place in the middle of the road. That's right. So you have uh, police deployed here. The traffic is moving. This is the main ITO road. Uh, the traffic is being diverted. It's not being allowed uh, to go either towards the DDO mark or the other way. So traffic is being diverted towards the other route. You have uh, police officials, senior traffic police officials, trying to manage the traffic situation uh, to, to, you know, to make sure that uh, the common man does not have to suffer because ultimately it is, a, it is an essential commute route. And now the protests have been uh, shifted uh, towards the corner of the road. Uh, in fact, they're not being allowed to, uh, to, to sort of squat in the middle of the road. Uh, uh, a lot of them have been asked to move away. Uh, this is where the police are taking the, taking the protesters. So more and more protesters now trickling in. But the traffic situation, if you ask me, Aarti, uh, it's, it's pretty smooth in the sense that these diversions and traffic advisory was already in place. The Delhi right. police had issued the traffic advisory earlier. Uh, which is why, uh, which is why the traffic situation is smooth. But of course, uh, the police continuing to detain, uh, continuing to detain the protesters. They are taking Atishi and other protesters to that bus, uh, from where they will be uh, they will be taken to the nearest thana. Right, uh, Vedan. Now they've uh, detained Saurabh as well as uh, Atishi is what we're learning, and several of the Amanmi party leaders. Are there still some leaders there uh, who are still protesting in the middle of the road? Uh, well, uh, you have some supporters of the Abani Party, some Karikartas, who have been shifted towards uh, uh, the side of the road. Uh, Delhi, now you can see CRPF Jawans also being deployed uh, you know, on either side of the road to make sure that there are no protesters. Some protesters being brought in, but this lone protester uh, being brought in from the other side of the road being taken away uh, by uh, the police there. Uh, so th th the police is clear that the, you know, Section 144 is in place and you cannot protest. Uh, so some protesters here uh, say, you know, saying the, reiterating the same thing. Kitne Kejriwal giraftar karoge? So the fact that the, their I, their political plank is that you can arrest Kejriwal, but not his not his ideology, not his spirit, not his model of governance. And uh, now, uh, if I if I can just move towards the bus in which Atishi is being taken away. So there you can see these rapid action forces in large numbers being deployed. Um, uh, Arti and uh, uh, there you can see Atishi and several other women supporters of the Aam Aadmi Party being taken away. If I can ask Prem Singh to show you, she's trying to speak to the media and now she has been detained as well. Several women protesters have been detained uh, here as well. Uh, let me try and get in a word from some of them. Tell us, you all have to बिल्कुल गैर कानूनी तरीके से कल अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को गिरफ्तार किया गया है हम सबको यहां गिरफ्तार किया गया है इस देश में अघोषित इमरजेंसी भारतीय जनता पार्टी और नरेंद्र मोदी जी लगा चुके हैं here people telling us that this is absolutely undemocratic the way they have been detained and the way they are being taken away there you can see this bus is now going uh, this bus has Aatishi in it so all these people now uh, detained by the police Aarti Reiterating that uh, this has been a peaceful protest all along uh, and of course they're questioning the fact that uh, section 144 was imposed in the first place, uh, uh, questioning uh, why they've not been allowed to protest. Uh, so there we have uh, uh, Atishi, uh, senior uh, Delhi minister as well as Saurabh Bhardwaj who've been taken away uh, in buses uh, uh, at the moment, uh, Vedant. Uh, uh, that, of course, is the situation on ground. Protests are still continuing in at the corners of the roads, uh, is what we're learning. Uh, uh, Vedanta, you've been able to speak to some of the police officers as well. What are they saying? Well, the police is determined not to allow any of these protesters. Police have been deployed in large numbers here. More and more buses coming now, Aarti. And this is a riot control vehicle here that has also been deployed uh, by the police to make sure that the situation is under control. Water cannons have been de deployed as well. Uh, more and more uh, buses to detain uh, protesters are coming in. They are determined that they will not allow uh, protesters to breach Section 147 
sorry, section 144, I beg your pardon, uh, which, which basically means that gatherings are not allowed, their assembly is not allowed, and several protesters now are being taken away. Um, uh, so the police are also saying that this is about the common man, given the fact that this is a busy road and you will uh, you, you can't be allowed to block it like this. And if I can ask my ca camera person, Prem Singh, to give you a top angle shot of the number of rapid action forces. This is a main road of the national capital that we are talking about and you have these rapid action forces in large numbers uh, being uh, uh, being deployed here. There you can see another protester being detained by the Ahmadni party, all of them being dragged away uh, by uh, the Ahmadni party, uh, by, by the police there, uh, all of them holding those placards uh, saying that, uh, you know, that they will continue to process all those placards saying maybe Kejriwal. Uh, you have women constables here uh, dealing with the women protesters and you have rapid action forces in large numbers. The police also said, you know, in their briefing in the morning that if required, they will be using water cannons as well. All of them were equipped with tear gas, uh, tear gas shells. Uh, if, if at all the protests went out of control. But here in the middle of one of the busiest roads, this is Aarti, one of the busiest roads of the national capital, you have this kind of protests uh, taking place and these protesters, more and more protesters are trickling in. Look at how those protesters, you know, these are uh, senior leaders of the Ahmadi party being brought in uh, from, uh, from Punjab. All of them have been detained now by the police. Uh, so not a single protester being allowed to even to even uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, sit uh, uh, you know here at the uh, uh, on the main road of uh, I, uh, of I2. This leads to the DDU Mark, which is where the BJP headquarters are also uh, situated. You have large numbers of women constables being deployed here as well uh, to make sure that you know women protesters are also not allowed uh, to hold any sort of protests. And now the number of protesters has uh, you know gone down significantly because most of them have been detained. Uh, there you can see more and more buses being brought in to detain these protesters. Uh, so the police, uh, the, the Delhi police committed that you know protests will not be allowed uh, here on the main road uh, at the ITO shop. Absolutely, Vedan. Now, are there any more protests planned around the city? You know, this was the place that you said that the protest was planned, but they started walking in the opposite direction. Uh, like you said, are there more protests planned, and what is the security situation in those areas? Well, remember, this was the area where the protest was supposed to begin from. It was supposed to begin from the Ahmadi Party headquarters, which is just about 500 meters away uh, from uh, this place where, I'm, uh, where I currently come to you from. And uh, the protest was supposed to begin from there, and they were supposed to march towards the BJP headquarters. Instead, they marched towards the ITO Chalk, uh, which is what sort of uh, uh, was, a, was a big surprise uh, twist in this entire protest march scenario. Uh, and uh, if I can keep moving uh, you know, to, uh, towards the other side of the road because some other protesters are sort of coming in uh, from that side as well. In fact, some protesters have managed to make their way uh, towards the other side of the road and those protesters are also being detained by the police. Uh, those protesters who were able to make their way towards the other side, so all these protesters being brought in by the police. Dramatic scenes unfolding uh, here on the main road uh, of the ITO Chalk. Uh, Delhi has never really seen, you know, such kind of, witness such kind of scenes because, remember, there's a lot of sentiment involved. Look at how these protesters is being dragged. Look at how these protesters is being dragged away by the rapid action forces. So, one by one, the Delhi police bringing all these protesters uh, uh, the rapid action forces also being uh, also being deployed here uh, and this is a political statement that is also being made that you know the sentiment involved uh, with this entire situation the fact that a sitting chief minister has been arrested is, is really high uh, political tempers are really high and they're they're taking the battle to the streets quite literally uh, you know here in the national capital while the legal fight goes on in court they're determined to take this battle to the streets and uh, what we are being told is that more and more protesters will come in uh, through the day. In fact, uh, Bhagwant Man is also expected to join the protest. Several leaders of the Ahmadni party from Punjab are expected uh, to join these protests as well. But if I can ask my camera person Prem Singh to show you, uh, you know, the, 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 this large crowd of protesters which has been uh, sort of pushed towards the corner, uh, they are now saying that they will continue to protest there. Uh, peacefully, uh, even though remember this is a violation of section 144 which does not allow assembly uh, here in the national capital. So the political tempers are extremely high.
Right, uh, Vedant, uh, continue tracking uh, the protests for us uh, from that area. As we can see, there are still some Amani Party leaders uh, who are still protesting. They're being, again, as you can see, dragged into the buses. Uh, Atishi and Saurabhadwar uh, have just been detained and taken in buses again. Uh, they plan to protest uh, from ITO Chowk there, but uh, as they were marching, uh, they've been dragged into buses and taken away.